Hi there, in this video I'm going to be discussing work energy methods uh, to solve similar problems that we discussed in kinetics of particles. Uh, you'll see that the approach is different in that you take what I would call a more macroscopic approach to a problem, um, noticing different displacements and heights. So anyway, let's look at a similar problem to what we had previously. Um, just give us a quick picture here. Let's say we have two weights um, right here. This one's going to be, say, 50 pounds, and this side's going to be 40 pounds. Uh, let's just give ourselves the benefit of the doubt that there's a pulley here and a pulley here. So what you can see is that you have essentially a box, what I'm going to call box A and box B. So what you can see is that with this situation we actually have acceleration that would be due to um, the, different, the difference in weights which would be downward. A net force of 10 pounds which is fine but we're gonna try and use uh, a, an energy method to figure out some pretty interesting stuff let's say what is the speed after these boxes have displaced after 10 feet so let's just say after 10 feet uh, what does V equal okay so what we're going to do is we're going to determine first of all how much potential energy is in each of these boxes and realize that the difference in potential energy will actually induce movement so anyway um, just to put a comparison this box A this box A is going to be moving with the force therefore it will gain will be positive energy whereas the box B is going to be going against gravity it's going to be going upwards which is against gravity and that will be that's why we give it a negative sign so really what you could say is that there's going to be a certain energy which is going to be the difference between the two potential energies FD minus FD so I mean you simply just plug in first you'll have your 50 times 10 feet because that's how far it's going to be displaced minus 40 times the displacement and when you figure that out that's actually that's similar to saying force net times distance times distance which will would equal 10 times 10 which should equal, that would also equal 10 times 10 which is another way of doing it, but the resultant is going to be 100. Now realize that that's pound foot, I'm just going to keep it pound foot, but realize that it, it is an energy. But we can keep our, our units in there just for sanity's sake. Okay, so now we have our energy unit now we need to convert that from the potential, the net potential energy, to what will be motion once we get to the 10 feet mark. So in 10 feet, what is that going to be? Here's our energy amount, so let's figure this out. You have your E for kinetic energy, so I should say KE, kinetic energy is equal to one-half m 
v squared. We know that that will that k e will equal p e the net p e. Thus, you can just say a hundred will equal a hundred will equal one half m. Now m is going to be the the combination of both the masses that are tied to the motion of these boxes, which is going to be both 40 and 50. So that will be 40 plus 50 v squared. And when you solve and you put this all through, you're going to get v will equal 8. Point four six feet per second. Now mind you, these numbers are all made up, so don't worry about whether the result makes sense or not. Just try and get the grasp of what we're doing. We're trying to take a macroscopic total distance displaced, and you can pull out the amount of energy that you would have at the end of that displacement. Um, I think we could probably just along this side here maybe fit in another half. Let's see if we can do it. Just along the edge here. We're going to have a similar problem. You work it all out the same. Let's say you have two ropes, you have your pulleys. This time, let's just put a force of 50 pounds pulling on the rope. And once again, our weight of 40 pounds. Um, when you work it through, you're still going to get your, your potential energy difference of 100 foot pounds. So you'll still get E is equal to 100 foot pounds. And you could and you could push that out to BTU if you feel like it. I just like to keep it foot pounds so I can intertwine it with other uh, equations. And we're just going to knock that and shove it into kinetic energy equation, which once again, 100 equals one half m v squared. 100 equals one half. Here's the key. M is only going to be 40 in this situation, the force has no mass, so the m is going to be 40 v squared. And when you solve for that, v will equal 12.69 feet per second. And the lesson here is that just pay attention to how you model your real life situation. Does it have a mass at the end of the rope or is it just a, a, a motor pulling it and there's no mass being uh, associated with the motion of this? And uh, you can associate this with uh, flywheels or um, you know a chain is relatively massless but if it's if there's another weight being attached or another wheel spinning with it that all generates energy or requires energy to move it and that's where you can get into this kind of uh, deviation in your answers. So 12.69 and 8.46. Big difference. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Leave any comments and I'll see you later.